AP has got millions in voter approved bonds to build schools and athletic facilities. It's basically your tax dollars. But now the district has put up fences and locked gates throughout the city, preventing people who live in the neighborhoods from using track and tennis courts after school hours. Tonight in a Target 7 investigation, John Cardinelli finds out if APS can legally do this. The quick answer is yes, the school district can, but people who live in the neighborhood say they should be allowed to use the district's outdoor facilities since it's their tax money paying for them. For more than a decade, Lisa Valle would ride her bike to La Cueva High School twice a week. And I practice working out there on the infield because it's a cushion and it's even, not like grass. Yeah. And then, of course, track workouts. She loves the facility and had no problem voting for a bond to help pay for it. However, we came to our usual workout and we saw the fence being constructed and of course the gates weren't in so we all kind of knew what was coming down the pike. During spring break, this is what she found. The gates were locked and she couldn't get in. How disappointing it is that, you know, one of the great facilities that we help pay for and that we feel safe on um, is going to be close to us like so many others are. Last year, APS started putting up fences at several of its schools throughout the city. School officials said at the time they were doing it to improve security on campuses. Ironically, they used money from voter approved bonds to do it. We have to work together with parents, with students, with the community in order to keep our students and our campuses safe. That was Sandia High School principal Camille Gonzalez one year ago. Fast forward to this year and the gates have gone up at La Cueva. So have these signs right next to the track telling people that the facilities are reserved for students. You just showed me that sign, which is very interesting and very disturbing to me at the same time. Former city councilor Brad Winter used to be in charge of all facilities at APS when he was their chief operating officer. In the past, La Cueva, for instance, they've been open for outdoor space for usage by the community for 30 years. Winter used to help get bonds passed at APS. And he says over the years, the school district has promised the facilities would be available to the public if they voted for the bond. We are part of the community. And when you pass these bonds, you're helping everybody in the community. But can APS legally do this if taxpayers are paying the bill? Short answer is yes, the school district can restrict access to school property. KOAT legal expert John Day says no one in New Mexico has ever legally challenged a school district's authority to lock down its outdoor facilities. Um, it certainly could be disappointing to people who like to run on tracks and use facilities, but the school is well within its rights to limit access to uh, students, faculty, staff, and school events. But that doesn't mean it makes sense. APS does have another bond election coming up. Winter says he's worried that locking the gates could affect whether voters will approve future bonds. You're cutting the whole population out of the people that really vote and support those because of a few people that might cause issues. Target 7 recently went to La Cueva High School and found the grounds were open on a Sunday for an event inside the gym. We saw about a dozen kids and adults working out on the football field and track. We also ran into members of the New Mexico Track Club, and they say they've reached out to the school to see if they can still use it. And there is a bond issue coming up in November so we'll all be thinking about that and maybe uh, somebody might want to think about it on the other end, administration for the public schools and work out a compromise. Winter said after he learned about the gates being locked, he reached out to the new superintendent, Gabriella Blakey. He says she sent him a text message saying, quote, we are working on it. We reached out to APS too, and they've agreed to do an interview tomorrow. We'll follow up with their response. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli.